Mary J Mary M says, question, how to spot a playboy in long-term distance? Ah, how do you spot a player, a playboy? Uh, the answer is you can't. There's no way. The beauty of distance is you can pretend to be whatever you want. In fact, ladies, sadly, people could be using old pictures of them. Now, unless you get onto Skype or something, okay, it's going to be very difficult. But the reality is that to be able to tell a person who is a player, I could say to you, well, if he doesn't return a phone call or doesn't return a text or something like that, that could be. But that's not legitimate because there's always a variety of reasons. Um, the reality is this. The really more important question is not to how to spot a player, is if you're choosing a long distance relationship, what is your plan to get 100 hours of face-to-face -face time to build the first layer of trust? And then what is your plan to shift from long distance to short distance? That's the main two questions you should be thinking about, not whether or not they're a player or not. Because here's the sad part, ladies, Many of you get sucked into these conversations, these incessant conversations with lonely men, lonely men. And this, by the way, I think it takes a desperate, lonely person to engage in incessant communication long distance. And then you get sucked in thinking you have a real relationship. And ladies, men don't bond over the telephone. Let me repeat that. Men don't bond over the telephone or text message. We don't bond until we're physically intimate with you. And then we do shit together. That's how we bond with you. We don't bond through these devices. So all of you guys that get, by the way, and again, you could have a long distance that one hour drive away. Talking on the telephone is a great way to really, you know, for men to get some female company to talk about our problems, to get a shit off our, our plate, if you will. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're capable of being in a relationship. You got to do shit together to make a relationship happen if you want a face to face relationship. Do you know what? Virtual relationships probably, I will tell you, there is probably, I'm going to say 10% of the women who follow my channel are probably in virtual relationships and they've been in these for a long, long, long time. I'm talking about incessant communication with men that they'll never meet. Now, sometimes they end up being scam artists, but those, they try to get your money very quickly. But there are men that will spend years, by the way, if a man spends years talking to a woman he never plans on meeting, the woman is getting, has to take ownership for her part. Ladies, if you want a real relationship, don't spend more than three weeks of communication and then plan on meeting. But Jonathan, we're long distance. Well, then fucking figure that shit out because drawing it out isn't going to benefit you. What it's going to do, it's going to break your heart. And for that woman who asked the question about how to protect yourself, you know how you protect yourself is you don't begin these incessant communication conversations with guys hoping that magic fairy dust will make this work. That's my invitation for you anyway. I hope that helped. All right.